Hi everyone, it's Victor. Here's my video on how to set a stop loss for options on Weevil's mobile app. This was a highly requested video, so let's get right to it. So to start off, I'm going to be turning on assistive touch just to show you guys where exactly I am tapping. So let me get that going. And now we have visual feedback of where I am tapping. So let's get right to it. So I'm going to tap on this NIO call option. And there's going to be a lot of information you see right here about your option position. But where we care about for this video is the bottom left, the trade button. So it's nice big blue. So now we are here. Also note that this is being recorded on an iPhone 12 Pro, so the layout might look slightly different, but this process is the same among all mobile devices. Uh, but if you want an Android tutorial, let me know in the comments. Okay, once here, we're gonna see the exact layout of your current position, but what's important is to change the buy to a sell. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and it's important because a stop loss order is a sell order. And so once you hit sell, you might be confused and be thinking, wait, where's the stop loss option? And this is where it can be a bit confusing. But the solution is to just tap the next button. And once you're on this screen, you're actually going to go over here to order type and click on this limit. And bam, you are now at the stop loss and stop limit loss. Um, so here you have the option between both a stop loss or a stop limit loss. And if you're confused on which is which and what the differences are, I actually made a video explaining just that on my channel. So check it out. And I'll also be sure to include it in the description. So what you're going to want to do is you want to set the stop, lower, stop loss order type. And so I'm going to choose a stop loss. Bam. And so now we're going to go over here to stop price. You can go, you know, press the plus button to increase the price of the stop loss. Or you can decrease the price with the minus button. But what you can also do too is you click on the actual amount. And you can actually set your specific amount. So let's say I want to do 1.5. Bam. Okay. So now we are on contracts, you know, the amount of contracts to 23 self-explanatory, just the amount of contracts you want to set a stop loss for. And now we'll go here to time and force. This is pretty important as well. And so the difference between this is basically if you choose day, um, the order will be canceled after the market closes on the day. So basically that same day after market closes, um, the stop loss order will expire. Good. So cancel is usually the one I choose. And basically what it means is that the order, if the order hasn't been filled, it'll still be up as in it'll still be in queue until 60 days. Um, after 60 days, the stop loss will naturally expire. So you'll have to replace it after that. Um, generally speaking, um, unless you're playing really long contracts, uh, you usually won't reach that 60 day um, expiration date. But I usually almost always go with good to canceled. So I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna go over here to hit sell. And you're going to make sure to confirm all the details that are correct because, you know, this is a uh, money we're talking about. So it's not something you want to, you know, take lightly. So you're going to do is you're going to look through all this and be like, okay, everything looks good. And you're going to press confirm. And bam, congratulations. You have set your stop loss on the Weeble mobile app. Um, something important is to note is that sometimes your order actually might not go through if it is not during market open pre-market or after hours. Um, usually weekends, they don't let you place orders or even have them in queue. Uh, it's just something to be you know, wary of. So I hope this video helped you all. And if it did, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and let me know in the comments. If you have any requests on how to do this on an Android device or how to do things on you know, Weeble Mobile or Weeble Desktop, uh, be sure to check out my channel. I post content weekly on Weeble tutorials stock and trading tutorials and tips on how to trade. So thanks for watching and happy trading.